Hello once again guys and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4 with Morris. And Atacon just doesn't want to shut up. <laughs> Ever. For the love of God, I can't even hear what he's saying. Just the world is crumbling around me. So yeah, at the end of the last part we just met up with Drebin. An extremely cool character who sells guns. Uh, I don't think we'll be buying any though. I don't think there's anything I need. There's literally nothing. But it's a good idea it's for anyone who wants to go around killing everybody with all kinds of weapons. He also sells the stealth camo and the bandana for like 5 million points each or something. Which is crazy much because you can get them for free if you just do the game properly. Uh, no kills, no alerts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always forget this part. Which is odd because it's not an easy part to forget. <laughs> I don't think if I heard that from the inside of a barrel, I would be inclined to push the barrel over. Stop right there! No! Get back here! It's okay, they did. It all happens for a reason. Also, my instant reaction would not be to immediately get inside the barrel. <laughs> but Snake's loving it. He's got big plans for that barrel. Oh, drum. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Go, militia man, go! Hurry to the rendezvous. Uh, I like this auto camera system. I like the fact that they managed to keep camouflage in, but bring it, you know, up to date. Well done. Well done, guys. <laughs> Even though some of the camos don't really make a lot of sense. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Online, when you're Snake, and you use the Octo camo. When when the beta came out in like it must have been sort of earlier 2008, I think it was. The beta came out, and I was playing the sneaking mode, which is where you're snake against two teams. Anyone who's played will know exactly what it is. Anyone who hasn't, it's basically like a death match, but snakes there as well. And uh, I genuinely thought when you were using the Octo camo, like for example, if you were lying in here. And it changes, and then it says, you know, 85% or whatever. I genuinely thought that everyone else could see that. <laughs> could see you as you are. But no, from everyone else's point of view, you literally just turn invisible. But I thought that you... Because <laughs> I was like, how are, you, how are you even supposed to hide? It's going to be so obvious, but, you know. And I was like, oh my god, people just keep running past me. How is this happening? You know, I remember reading on a forum ages ago. This was this must have been 2007. Um, I don't know. Some guy. It was something about like what would happen if they made a Metal Gear Online. In fact, no, it must have been. No, it was pre-2007. Um, what would happen if they made it an awesome? Because it had to be before Metal Gear, the first Metal Gear Online. Metal Gear, oh god. Because Metal Gear 3 had an online mode as well. Um, so it must have been before that. But yeah, I remember some guy saying, oh, wouldn't it be great if, you know, you had two teams in a deathmatch and then Sneak was, and then Snake was, um, Snake was there as well and he had a mission of his own and he had to sneak around and wouldn't that be so cool? And then they went and made it. And I was like, my God, they must have been reading what I was reading. 
Okay, so this is the this is the, I I lost my concentration for a second there. But it's fine. The solid eye is telling me where everyone is, so it's all good. I forgot those two guys come out there. I think if you do it fast enough, those guys don't come out of this little alleyway. Don't you dare run this way. So all other guns are just inferior compared to the mark to, to the mark keepers. Yeah, nobody can see me. Excellent. By the way, that's a great place to be if you want to grind for things like uh, headshots and kills and stuff like that, it's pretty much unlimited, uh, there's unlimited spawning enemies there, which is pretty cool. That's for anyone doing the emblems. Oh, whoa, whoa. I remember getting knocked out by these things first time. Even though it's quite clearly a mine or something that will damage you, I still ran over, you gotta see what happens. I still ran over it. And I still reload, like, the, the same way I did on Metal Gear Online. It's just things that you just, it just happens. Like where you immediately select a different weapon to cancel the reload animation, just things like that. I don't know why I still do them. Hey, when the, who's excited for Metal Gear Online 3? Which isn't, you know, I don't, as far as I know there isn't one yet, but you know it's going to happen. Everybody's waiting for it. Your weapon. This is a great scene. Drop your weapon. All right. Here. No suppressor for some reason. E easy now. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. <laughs> Three guys is not enough to take Snake down. CQC, real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. Snake? Snake. Meryl. Is that you? into your face. All right, no need to just, you know. Accelerated aging. Haven't seen each other in so long, and that's the first thing you gotta say. Maybe it's been longer than you think. Oh my God. Meryl, you're my informant in the US military. And you must be the inspector sent by the UN. I 
Akiba. Commander. Oh. You feel that one every time. Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID. One of the bodies investigating PMC activity. Yeah. <laughs> First hounds, now rats. Hounds are cooler. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> You okay? Does he look okay? Does he sound okay? <laughs> Diarrhea. That's not why I like that cutscene, by the way. It's just the rest of it's great. <laughs> sort of reminiscent of the whole Metal Gear Solid 1 scene with Meryl. Again, nostalgia trip. Gotta love it. arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Maybe a prostitute that Liquid hired. He is known for such things. My god, my vision is blurry. Oh, I went to the opticians the other day. Um, I need new glasses. And that, that's, that's all fine. But I thought I'd try out for contact lenses. Because, you know, how hard could that be? Just put the thing on your eyes, fire, yeah, you walk out, you'd see everything. Yeah, it sounds good to me. But my god, I wish it was that simple. I'm not good with contact lenses. <laughs> uh, I couldn't, I had to get the, the woman who was doing the test. She was like, well, I can put them in. And then we'll see, we can at least, you know, see what they're like. She got one in, and that was Don't great. I could oh my left eye I could see everything. It was like it was like I got my eyesight back. But the right eye, for some reason, it just it wasn't happening. And then she was like, oh well, we'll have to we'll have to take out and we'll obviously have to take out the left one and then we'll try again at some other stage. Um so I'm going back tomorrow. But when she was taking it out, she was like, Oh yeah, you'll probably feel a bit of pressure on your eye. What she meant to say, I think, was you probably feel a bit of pressure on your brain okay, because, the, God, I thought she was I thought she was poking around in my brain. She'd think it was going in that anyway. hard. Ah, it was horrendous. I don't know if anybody out there has got lenses, Maybe got any tips for getting over that hurdle of actually putting in your eye, because I can't handle it. I don't know what. Well, I've never done anything like that before. Never need to. It's just a reaction, isn't it? You've got to you quit the unit. shut your eye, but... Me? I don't know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. I got some new shades as well. So it wasn't all bad. I just <laughs> wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I put the That's a cool behind. bullet earring as well. That was always on my Metal Gear Online character. I had three outfits. Well, I always, I always thought that the outfit, the, the whole sort of face get-up so, made an outfit. None of this, like, for. you know, oh, you look, I'm wearing red pants. I'm wearing zebra-skin pants. Nobody wants to see that. What kind of a camo? That's... Pff, no. It's all about having the Union Jack and the shades and the bullet earring and the Johnny-style haircut. That's some rumor. I'm only here because... That's, that's what makes a cool character. At least that's what I stuck with, anyway. That's all? Because when you take somebody down and then the camera goes onto them, I want them to remember I know the he's face, you know. An but as long as AT security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. It's all psychological. Psy psyching them out. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies. Always with the nano purpose. machines. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure, and sugar levels. Oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, 
on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system managers. That is a very masculine looking picture of Meryl of at the top there. <laughs> Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody Look at that else. jawline. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7. But I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clear... <laughs> and Ed looks about 50 us, as well. So there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Nanilule, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots move. Well, there's it's at least 893 of them. PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as assuming a they are numbered that way to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even Oh, it'd be cool to be driven number 007. <laughs> but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the US responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five that was a weird picture of Meryl and her gang there, because that scene hasn't happened yet. They're all <laughs> undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if but whatever. Caught, we'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Is there any other ki kind of Colonel? <laughs> he put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. 
Not the papers, Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. It's also really strange because you don't actually find out that Campbell so, is Meryl's dad unless you get the bad ending of Metal Gear Solid 1. Yeah. Little violation of the need to know role. So if you never did that and then this happens, you're you like, oh my god. Uncle. You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will but I got the bad ending many times. <laughs> I got the bad ending and thought it was the only ending there was first time. Because I'd never played a game that had more than one ending, so when it happened, I was like, "Oh my god, that's just horrible." His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. <laughs> Go, Campbell. Men, selfish, egotistical pigs. I don't think there's any need for that kind of language. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying man. 20? It's like 50. It's the frog. It's my god. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh, oh. Were you being followed? No. Okay, <laughs> serious. You seen what I'm wearing? Being followed. Akiba. Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa! Wait! 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 Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, Akiba. Oh. Slash oh, Johnny. Oh. No. Oh, it wasn't my fault. I swear. It wasn't my fault. You break your shades oh, doing that. Oh, I had those shades online. Just thought to throw that in there. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later. If we're still alive. No, you should fill me in now with the details for that exact reason. Follow me. That's pretty freaking sweet. See, Johnny's fine. He knows, he knows exactly what he's doing. Eye contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Snake's not even hiding. Akiba. He literally just stood there saying, Bring it on. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. No, oh, I don't know about that. Move! Well, unfortunately, I have to pause it for now, guys. Um, but thank you very much for watching. This episode of uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, and I hope to see you in the next one where we'll take on all these frogs. And hopefully they won't kill us! So yeah, join me for that guys, and we'll see you later. See you in a bit.